Hi everyone. Today we'll see how to implement clock timer in a game, and this will be useful for the games which are based on timer. To do that, I have a new scene. I will have a UI text element where I will have to show the timer. Just increase the size of the text, the font size, and the color, and I will name it as timer. So my timer text is ready. This is where I will show my timer. To do that, let's just add a script in the main camera. I will name it as clock timer. Just add and open the script. Since I'm using the canvas element, so I'll be using the namespace using Unity Engine dot UI. So now I'll start with a variable that is timer variable of the type text. This is where I will be showing my timer. So it is public text timer, and have one more variable that is float current value. This will be used as the clock timer. This value will be decreasing it or increasing it as per our needs. So now, at the start, I want my current value to be 10F. I want my timer to start from 10 and decrease sequentially. That is 10, 9, 8, and so on. That's why I have given my current value as 10. And we can always call the timer function in the update. And I want my current value to decrease. So my current value will be current value minus 1. That is current value minus is equal to 1 into time dot delta time. Here my current value is 10 right now and I want it to decrease sequentially that is 10, 9, 8 and time dot delta time is used to maintain the smooth transition or speed between different hardware sources and now I will and now I want my current value to be printed on the text that is timer text. So, timer dot text is equal to current value. I have to show the current value there. But my current value is a float value that I need to convert it to string. So, current value dot to string of 0. This is current value dot two string of zero is because I want my current value to be a whole number. So now just save the script. And here just drag the text where you want to show the clock timer. So just click on play. You can see the current value is starting from 10. And it is decreasing sequentially. But I want my timer to end after 0. 
to do that i'll have a if condition that is if my current value is less than or equal to 0 that is after 0 i want the text to be printed as end so timer dot text will be end so once my current value reaches 0 i will show the text end just save the script now click on play you can see it's starting from 10 and once it reaches 0 it will show the text end but what if i want my timer to start on button click event to do that i'll add a button just increase the size and i'll name it as start button and when i click on start button i want my timer to start not when i click on the play button to do that let's open the script i want my current value to be printed only after the button click to do that i'll add a bool variable that is bool enable timer and at the start i want my enable timer to be false so enable timer is equal to false and i want my enable timer to be true only when i click on the button to do that i'll add a button function that is public void on start button click now on start button click i will enable the timer that is enable timer is equal to true now when i click on start button i will have my timer enabled to do that i have i should also add the condition that is if condition in the update function that is if enable timer that is if enable timer is true i want my current value to be decreased and shown on the timer text and once it reaches the value 0 i want my enable timer to be false so if current value is less than or equal to 0 I want my enable timer to be false. So now when I click on start button my enable timer will be true so the if condition will be true and the timer will be executed. So just save the script just add the start button function my script is in the main camera just drag the main camera select the class and the function that is clock timer and on start button click just save the scene and click on play button and you can see the timer is not starting when i click on play but it starts when i click on the start button This is it guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you feel the video is useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.